you know Fremont ISD is one of the fastest growing districts in Region 2? Visitors have come from out of state to see what Fremont ISD is all about. Fremont is the best school and I am learning a lot. And when we're grown-ups, we can also do anything and we can change the world to be a better place. At Prima, we have a new state-of-the-art elementary school. Did you know that 98% of our students are considered college and career ready? That is 35% over the state average. Governor Abbott highlighted five districts in his state of the state address and Prima was one of those five. Prima, we never settle. Changing the way we do school. The three words that I would use to describe Premon ISD. Compassionate, driven, and impactful. Optimistic. Visionary and child-centered. Blessed and challenging. A team. Innovative. Cradle to career. And student-centered. Resilient, because we didn't give up. Opportunities, dedication, and motivation. We never settle. I'm Lily Rodriguez, and I'm PISD's parent liaison, as well as the Community Partnership Grant Manager. Fremont Compass is an, a grant initiative that was brought to Fremont ISD. With this grant, we're able to um, bring in community partnerships, and it helps our community with different initiatives that we're going to implement with this grant. One of the main things that we want to focus on is cradle to career. With that being said, we want to start our school off with something that we haven't had here yet uh, within the past years, and that is an infant and toddler room. So we want to make sure that we provide all of our community and families with the resources from birth to um, adulthood. In our pathway from cradle to career, we are wanting to make sure that we have all the resources that we can possibly implement with this grant that we were given. I say cradle to career because uh, there again, we want to start our kids with a wonderful education at infant level. I think that, you know, kind of just sums it up, cradle to career for Prima ISD. My name is Billy Benavides and I am the Early Childhood Coordinator at Fremont Early College Academy. We have a pre-K-3, pre-K-4 program in, in collaboration with Head Start. Um, we have two pre-K-3 classrooms and two pre-K-4 classrooms. This program is important to students in Fremont uh, because it is the foundation to their education and their start to their future success. Joel Televino, Fremont Academy Principal. So our school is an elementary school with grades pre-K through fifth grade. We have approximately 374 students. Fremont Academy is a safe place for all kids to come and learn. As the principal, we ensure, I ensure, that all students get an equal education. I advocate for teachers to ensure that teachers feel empowered, effective, so that they can empower the students um, to be effective in the world. I want our students to be able to be part of the Montessori um, experience, which will be coming to our district um, fall of 2022. Hi, my name is Christina Lopez, and I am the Premont Montessori Academy Director. The Premont Montessori um, Academy is a new program that we are launching this school year, 2022. It is going to be a slow growth model. So we are starting with kindergarten students. And basically it is a different way of learning for our students here in Premont. Um, if they're not successful in the classroom, they have a second chance. At the Montessori, we are providing hands-on um, activities, um, life skills, training, how to be good um, citizens in the community. The Premont Montessori Academy is important for the students because first of all, it's gonna give them a choice. They are going to learn what it's like to be in a Montessori school that they wouldn't normally have. Our children get to experience what children in Dallas and Houston get to experience, you know, in our small community. Eight years ago, Montessori wasn't even a thought, and today it's a reality. I'm Anika Diaz and I'm a senior. I'm Andrew Christian uh, Jr. My name is Julia Pretty and I'm a sophomore. My name is Sadie Boswick, I'm a sophomore. My name is Elion Lafuente and I'm in seventh grade. My name is Emiliano Canales and I'm in eighth grade. My name is Amber Garcia and I'm in eighth grade. My name is Claudette Garcia. I'm the principal of Premont Collegiate High School. 
the district offers such a wide range of opportunities to our students, specifically our secondary students. Um, our eight through 12 students have, you know, the typical opportunities that a high school student has. They can be in athletics, they can participate in band. Um, we offer an, a mariachi program. But on top of that, for our secondary students, our nine through 12, they can participate in the Rural Schools Innovation Zone. Uh, the Rural School Innovation Zone is a collaborative, uh, the first of its kind in the nation. It's a collaborative between three independent school districts, which encompasses Premont ISD, Freer ISD, and Brooks County ISD. Each of the high schools uh, houses a specialized academy, and which are uh, every one of our kids within the three school districts get a chance to go and visit and become a part of. Through the nursing program in Freer with the Rich program, I'd say they helped me a lot. I'm leading towards the nursing. Welding, uh, construction. I either want to be an engineer or underwater welder. Next semester I will be put back into welding, so I will be both dual credit and welding. We have a health science academy in Freer uh, called Next Generation Medical Academy. We have the Wills Elias STEM Discovery Zone housed in Premont ISD. We have a Grow Your Own Educator Academy housed at Premont uh, Collegiate High School campus. We have a Naval ROTC program uh, at Fortius High School, and we have Ignite Technical Institute, which encompasses four different pathways with welding, construction, electrical, and heavy equipment operations. All of our nine through 12 students have an opportunity to take college classes at Texas A&M University, Kingsville. They're on the Kingsville campus, just like a regular college student would be from the time that they are transitioning from eighth grade to ninth grade. So opportunities is in capital letters at Premont ISD. Early College High School is beneficial to our students because um, demographically the state actually categorizes us as um, and our students as students who are least likely to attend college. My goals for high school are to finish school and go to college because none of my family had that opportunity so I want to be the first one to go to college. Giving them the experience while they, while they are still in high school to actually go out, experience a university, and take college courses on a college campus is, is a way to show them that college is a very real possibility for them and it can lead to major benefits in their future. I am an intern with the Environmental Engineering Department at Texas A&M Kingsville. We are part of a NASA federally funded project. I think that they're going to give me a head start and save me a lot of money that I could have paid for tuition. Maybe work in like labor and delivery. Uh, top five in my class, uh, graduate honors, and then um, be able to be able to go to college with. Uh, with the grades I want. To be on varsity on every sport I play. I don't know exactly, but I want to be some type of a entrepreneur. You know, I've always kind of been interested in that. The moment we've been striving to bring and implement different programs here at our district to give every student uh, opportunities that bigger school districts would have. Everything from our Premont Compass program to the Montessori School to the Rural School Innovation Zone. Um, My name is Francisco Rios Jr and I am the board president of Premont ISD. The resilience that we had about 10 years ago when we were about to, when we got our second letter of closure and uh, we didn't give up, we didn't, we didn't jump ship, we stayed and we fought, clawed, bit, scratched until we are where we're at right now. The concept of changing the way we do school at Premont ISD means that we take what most people think of as a typical school day and put a little bit different shift on it. For example, our early college high school students, they're on a bus at 7.15 in the morning traveling to Texas A&M, Kingsville. That's changing the way that most schools do early college high school. When they get into college life, it's total different um, atmosphere. We're already giving them that here in high school, so just changing that little aspect helps prepare them for the future. It is important that Premont is changing the way we do school because the world is changing. It's, it's not the same as it was 20 years ago or even five years ago. If we continue to teach the same way, um, we're not going to have a huge impact. And our, our job is to get our kids ready for the future, and the future is now. We want our kids to be successful. And with life changing at all times, we want to make sure we're changing with it. We, we can't go back and, and 
rely on the, on, on the good old days. You know, the good old days where they were what they were, but now with the innovations and technology, you know, it, it's time for uh, school boards and superintendents to think outside the box. If we don't continue to be aware of policies are being made, our kids will fall behind. And you need to put kids first. You put kids first and do what's right for the kids, believe me, everything will fall into place. I would like, or I would love for every student, not just here in Fremont, uh, Brooks County, Duval County, uh, every student to get the, the best opportunity to be successful in life. Sometimes in life, the hardest thing is doing the right thing. But if we continue to do what's right and what's best for children in general, there's no stopping. There's no stopping anybody. Changing the way we do school.